This is Danita, a general cargo vessel approaching a port in Sweden. On her journey over here, she used 7% less fuel than she used to, thanks to Daman's Air Cavity System, or DAX. A layer of air underneath the ship's hull reduces the water resistance significantly. This, in turn, allows the ship to run on less engine power while retaining the same speed. Air lubrication is already existing for many, many years, so it's not new. But we, as Damen, did a development together with the Technical University of Delft to make something unique. We are creating air layers and not air bubbles anymore. And with air layers, we are reducing more wetness area, and that is the reason that the vessel has less drag and more fuel savings in the end. What's very unique to our system is that we are using blowers and not compressors. This is not only saving a lot of space, it's also less maintenance. And the last thing, it uses way less power compared to the standard uh, compressors, which are being used by our competitors. Just weeks earlier, DAX was installed on Danita during regular maintenance of the vessel. We're here at the repair shipyard in Tallinn and we're here for the installation of uh, Dame Air Cavity System on the vessel Danita. So in the longitudinal direction of the vessel we will install custom-made rubber profiles uh, which will generate the, the lanes on the flat bottom. And in the transversal direction we will install cavitators which are made of stainless steel strips. And then we have four blowers in the bow of the, of the ship which will generate the airflow. The longitudinal skechs are made of custom-made rubber profiles which are connected to the hull via stud welding. And the transversal cavitators are actually glued to the hull. This is really, really new experience for us because in my experience, and actually I never heard of that, that somebody glues something to the vessel bottom. But it works. Although we are not installing this system in a ship repair yard at Damen, we for sure are sending our technical experience people to this yard to make sure this installation is going as smoothly as possible. We have a supervisor on the yard who is helping in the dock itself uh, and we are for project management. We have uh, quite experienced personnel working uh, from, uh, from all three parties, from customer side, from our side and from uh, Damen side and we are solving all the questions quite quickly on, on the go. So. Damen has, has his name and uh, of course uh, uh, we, we, we trust this name and we know that uh, well, no matter what challenges we're going to face, we are, as a team, will go through and at the end we will see the result that we are aiming for. And the results are in. After two weeks in dry dock, followed by sea trials, Danita now uses 7% less fuel, sailing at the same speed as before the deck system was installed. Yeah, for, for the same speed we can use this uh, uh, less power according to our calculations, is uh, about uh, 700 liters. Uh, that means uh, about 7.5% uh, uh, fuel saving. On top of mind of ship owners are two things. Cost reduction and sustainability regulations. CEI, EEXI and CO2 taxes are coming in fast, which has a huge impact on the wool shipping industry. EXI is the energy efficient index which is already calculated for the vessel and uh, that is have a direct impact because again we are talking about emissions, a reduction of emissions, therefore it also will lead to the decrease uh, EXI. We as Dame want to become the most sustainable shipbuilder in the world and with this solution this is another step towards our goal.